Hey church family, this video is to give you information about the service that we'll be having here at the building this coming Sunday, June the 14th. We're going to try to give you several options for your attendance, hopefully options that uh, can help you attend and worship with the right heart and mind, but uh, also be mindful of, of several things we're still concerned about uh, involving the COVID-19 virus. And so um, our service this Sunday, June the 14th, is going to once again begin at 9 a.m. We ask that you arrive just a few minutes early and, uh, and, and, and know where you're going in regard to uh, the places that we've made available for you during this service. And I'll describe that. Uh, this service is going to be led entirely from the auditorium, but we're going to broadcast it to each of these different locations that I'll describe. And we, again, encourage you to bring your own communion if you're able to do that, but uh, we, we'll, we'll have that available. We've, we've safely made that available for you. Uh, so many good helpers here uh, have been working this week and today um, trying to get our, our building and facilities ready for Sunday. Uh, we, again, uh, tell you, you know, if you're not feeling well, um, certainly if, you've, if you're running a fever or just generally aren't feeling good, especially if you've been in contact with someone who has tested positive for the virus with within the past two weeks, 14 days, then we ask you just to not attend, or if you do attend, just please stay in your vehicle. And uh, we, we, we really want to accommodate um, um, everything as we, as we typically do when we have service uh, opportunities. And so uh, our elders are, and deacons are gonna be really trying to assist uh, you in any way that they can, especially with, with your responses to the lessons being taught and, and during our time of worship and encouragement. And so, Here's your options for the assembly. Uh, there will be seating in our auditorium. Uh, our shepherds on location there will be Mark McKee III and also Jeff Green. We're, we're, we're going to ask that the auditorium be reserved for those who are 65 years of age and up. We, we want you to enter and exit only through the glass doors uh, here at the church building, and we're going to have ushers at each door opening those doors and, and, and helping you move safely through the building. They'll assist you in, 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 in seating when you arrive and then also uh, assist you as you leave the building this Sunday. We, we, we highly encourage that you bring and wear your own mask. Um, if, if you're going to be worshiping in our auditorium. And if you don't have a mask, we're going to try to have those uh, available for some of you to use as well. The restrooms in the foyer uh, will be available for use, but again, just, just, just be cautious and careful. Please, uh, we ask you to only use those if you absolutely must. And again, the communion emblems, as well as hand sanitizer and even bottles of water, will be available at every entry point to our building. And so be sure and pick one of those up as you arrive. That's, the, that's, that's one of the options. The other option is right here in the fellowship hall. You, as you can see, we're, we're still working on this, but we're moving uh, seating uh, around in this room to be uh, socially distant from one another. But this will also be an option if you attend with us here on Sunday. Uh, this area will be limited, however. Uh, we, we can really only safely fit about 50 in this room. With, with proper social distance. And so this room is gonna be reserved for those who wanna sit with their families. Uh, it, it, it will be air conditioned and likely a little bit more comfortable. And so you can come here. The service will be broadcasted on uh, a screen. You'll, you'll, you'll have an audio and video presentation here in this room. Uh, the main fellowship uh, door, the one right here at my finger, is the only one that we're going to let you enter and access this room. There will be no um, uh, walking in between uh, the main building and the fellowship hall here. And ushers will also be at that door. They'll help seat you and, and, and also help assist you as you leave. Again, we strongly encourage that you wear a mask if you're, if you're in this portion of the building too. And, and please limit your contact with others uh, who are in this room. And again, if you don't have a mask, remember, we'll try to provide one for you. Uh, the restroom in this room will be open, but again, use it only if you must. And uh, same thing down here, communion emblems, hand sanitizer, bottles of water will be made available for you. And, 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 and I, want, I may mention this again, but, but we're going to have stations for your contribution at every entry point as well. And so if, you, if you'd like to give a contribution while you're here with us at any, in any area that you're worshiping in, that'll be made available to you. Of course, sending that to Mark and Missy is still also a, a good alternative during this time. Uh, the third option is the pavilion, uh, just across 
uh, the little side road uh, over here. The elder on location over there will be Nick Gregory. I don't know if I mentioned, but the elder on location in this room will be Gary Dixon. But our shepherd on location across the road will be Nick Gregory. And of course, we have unlimited seating over there. Uh, we ask that if, you, if you're going to use that portion of our building, please park being mindful of others uh, who will need access to this part of the building and the auditorium and uh, uh, bring your own chair. We've got picnic tables over there, but those likely won't sit, seat everybody. And so bring your own chair. Again, we'll provide communion emblems, hand sanitizer, uh, water. If you're over there, we, again, strongly encourage you to practice safe social distancing. We'll be outside. Wearing a mask isn't just absolutely necessary, but again, please practice safe social distancing. Be considerate of others. And, and, and we're going to make the playground equipment off limits. Again, trying to uh, follow some some guidelines that our city and community is still following there. And so that's, that's gonna still remain temporarily off limits for the time. And uh, that, 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 that area is gonna have live sound. Uh, we'll, you'll, you'll be able to hear what's going on here in the building. And obviously you'll be able to get to see and be around so many others, but we don't have video presentation over there just yet. And so you'll have to forfeit that if you, if you choose to be encouraged and worship on the other side of the road. And then finally, the last option for you is, is just remaining in your car and, 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 and being a part of us uh, in, in your car in the parking lot. And our, 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 our shepherd overseeing that is going to be Ronnie Tennant. If you choose to attend and do that, please contact him before you arrive. Um, he's he's going to park your car appropriately where you'll be able to see a few things that are going on. You won't be in the sun. And you'll be able to turn, uh, tune your radio into channel 107.1 FM and listen to everything that's going on inside of the building, even uh, uh, get to hear uh, singing, which if you're like me, you've missed that so much, but you'll even get to hear some of our folks singing. And so, um, again, we'll, we'll provide communion for you if you need it. The deacons will, will bring that to your car, but if you can bring your own, that would be great. And so I think that's about it. You know, when the, when the service concludes, if you've uh, chosen and, and been able to be inside, we ask that you limit your, your contact and your fellowship with one another inside. I know we still hate that, but, uh, but we, we encourage fellowship and communication and lingering and talking uh, outside of these doors, outside. But, you know, uh, try, try to limit that as you're inside with us. And uh, again, so thankful for church leadership. I know that you are too. Um, all of these rules and guidelines are, you know, with your best interest at heart. Um, certainly, we're trying to maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. And I know that, 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 that you also know, as I do, that there's no amount of discomfort. Uh, there's certainly um, 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 nothing that needs to stand in the way of that, of being a united people who love and look after one another. And so we hope to see you. We hope that we've given you an option that, that uh, again, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to participate in. Um, uh, can't wait to see you. And, uh, again, pray that you're having a great day and are able to join us uh, this Sunday. So see you then.